What is up, guys? Floodmon14. And in the, uh, the last episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour, we defeated, uh, yeah, one each of the big five. Uh, so we got, uh, yeah, Gantley, Crump, and uh, Johnson defeated here. So in today's episode, we're just going to go after the rest of the people that we need to. So without further ado, let's take the uh, train over to the next city. I should probably go to the big map for this, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. That way I can see what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Uh, also, you know, it is still late at night and stuff, so we may, uh, wind up running into a shadow game or two. Uh, also, 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 uh, I should probably check and see what deck I have. What deck do I have here? Abyss Paradise. Um... Let's just... Uh, yeah, that, that should be fine. That should be fine. Um, but for s some of the final duels, I'll definitely want to switch over to uh, a different deck. Um, let's just see who this is. Is this who we need to find? Oh, I think it is. Okay, here we go, guys. I've been waiting for you. I'm Nesbitt. Big four the big five. You look as dangerous as a water pistol, kid. <laughs> Not, nothing too special at all. Well, I'm surprised we found him right away. I was in charge of engineering and technology at Kaiba Corp. That's why I decided to take the form of my favorite monster, Robotic Knight. My sophisticated machinery will send you to your digital doom. <laughs> what a digital dummy. <laughs> all right, guys, and let's do it. Steel Soul. Hmm. Alright, Nesbitt, let's do it. Yeah, good thing you don't have some of your broken anime cards like uh, Short Circuit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the anime, he had some very dangerous broken cards. Now, speaking of broken cards, hmm, this card might be pretty good in this duel. Okay. Alright, Nesbitt, I'll set a card face down. And uh, I'm gonna throw down a couple face downs for you. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I think I can turn this up a little bit, too. Nice shadow game music to start the door. The episode, Gradius. <laughs> okay. That's nothing too threatening. I mean, I guess it is one of, uh, you know, modeled after one of Kaiba's, you know, signature machine cards. Uh, but, yeah. Graceful Charity, now that is somewhat threatening. Okay, he's just gonna attack. I mean, I don't even need to use Crush Card Virus yet. Defend me, Spirit Reaper. All right, all right. And uh, I'm kind of curious. Let's see what he threw to the graveyard with Graceful Cherry and stuff. Let's go max view here. Ah, we got a nice twin-headed behemoth. What you got here, Nesbit? Uh, wow! Surprised you threw these two away. Pretty good cards, Mechanical Chaser, Jinzo. Hmm, okay, this guy's got a pretty strong deck. All right, I summon twin-headed behemoth in attack mode. We'll switch Spirit Reaper to attack mode. All right, let's just see what happens here. Go. Twin Fang Venom. Ah, Sakuretsu armor, huh? That is a good card. Luckily for me, I've got a trap for that, Nesbitt. Now then, since you destroyed one of my monsters, I'll activate Call of the Haunted. This revives a monster in my graveyard. Oh! I'm, 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 I'm genuinely proud. That was good. Good for you, man. Good for you. He had the MST. Okay, well, without further ado, let's destroy all the powerful monsters in your head, deck, and graveyard. Go, Crush Card Virus. <laughs> Say goodbye to your mechanical chaser. And he's got gear golem, huh? Okay. Well, uh, Twin Head of Behemoth will revive itself. So I'm not too afraid. And now we know he doesn't have really much in his hand. So yeah, let's pick defense mode here. All right, let's see what you draw next, Nesbit. Ah, called the haunted. Uh oh, that's not good. That means he could potentially revive Jinzo. You're gonna take Spirit. Oh wait, won't Spirit Reaper destroy itself? Because it's being equipped, right? Uh, whoops. <laughs> Hey, you just wasted 1,500 of your life points there, buddy. All right, so the big problem is we 
know he's got called the Haunted, so Jinzo's coming down town and really around, and Sugar's coming down swinging. Yeah, he's gonna be the number one with the bullet, so we gotta do something about that. Hmm, Horse Raider. Well, for now, let's just take out some of his monsters here. And his other monster was Gear Golem, right? Yeah, so. I mean, you know, maybe he won't play Call of the Haunted until we attack directly. That's. Really, the only thing I can hope for at this point. Yeah. Hmm. And it's not like I could have saved Crush Card because, uh, yeah, Genzo negates traps. So, uh, Gradius is option. Well, I just got rid of your Gradius, so. Oh, he's gonna do it. Called the Haunted for Genzo, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, hmm. What am I gonna do about this, boys and girls? Well, he did play his Gear Golem. Okay. So I can at least take out Gear Golem. Go, Genzo! Cyber Energy Shock! Not a bad move, man. Not a bad move. Hmm. Do I have some equip cards on this deck? I don't know. I know I have some trap cards, but you know, obviously that's not gonna deal with Genzo, so. Hmm. One more turn of Crush Card. What we got? That might help us. It. I'll set Morphing Jar, and I'll end my turn, Nesbit. Oh. What you got? Limiter removal. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be glad to discard that from... Uh-oh, he played it right now. Uh-oh. This might hurt, boys and girls. I mean, the good part is we've got plenty of life points, and Jinzo's gonna be destroyed in the end phase. The bad part is... Yeah, uh... He's gonna get a direct attack in on this. Pot agree, ooh. Uh, another gear golem. Seven completed, okay. Yeah, he, he drew some good cards there, honestly. Um, wow, yeah, he just played limiter removal right away, right away. Go, Jinzo. Cyber energy shock, man, that's a big hit. Nesbitt might actually defeat us, I don't know. Okay, another gear golem. Are you gonna play Pot of Greed? I hope you do. Oh yeah, he can get his mechanical chasers back too. Hmm. Play Pot of Greed. You're still under car crush card. No, he didn't. Okay. All right. Well, that gets destroyed and that gets destroyed. All right. Let's see what we drew here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So. Well, we know he has mechanical chaser. That's kind of the problem. Let's. Play Graceful Charity. Draw three, discard two. Ooh, I'm glad to see this card. Okay, I'll discard one Magician of Faith. And I'll also discard Revival Jam. Okay, Nesbitt, now I'll set a card. And I'll activate Delinquent Duo. So I'm going after the Mechanical Chasers in his hand, obviously. By paying a thousand, I discard two. Ooh, I got rid of Pot of Greed. Okay, honestly, that's probably good. The best hit we could have gotten. Okay, go. Giant Red Sea Snake. Okay. And our life points are kind of low. So let's go ahead and power it up here. Because we don't know what he's going to draw. We know what's in his hand, though. Uh, one Mechanical Chaser and seven completed. So that's why I went ahead and played the power up. Because that will put uh, Sea Snake over that combination. So... But, if all else fails, we've got Mirror Force set, so... Hopefully he can't revive Jinzo again. Um... Okay, and I'll end my turn there, Nevbit. And he, he duels pretty good here, though, I'm not gonna lie. But the duel's not over. Uh, set monster. Okay, good, good. That's what I like to see, Nesbitt. Ooh, and speaking of what I like to see, I activate Pot of Greed. This lets me draw two cards from my deck. So, another Red Sea Snake. Okay. Let's, uh, let's summon it. Let's summon it. So, hopefully this is Mechanical Chaser, because then we can get a lot of direct damage in. Let's try it for it. Is it? Yes. Okay. Now we also know that's not in his hand, too. It's a pretty dangerous monster with 1850, so... Alright. Now go, my gi second giant red sea snake. Go, surfertize me, Captain. 3,400. Yeah. Now we're back in the lead, Nesbit. Now we're back in the lead, baby. 
Okay, and with that, I'll end my turn. Alright, this is coming down to the wire, guys. Let's see what it gets. That's a pretty good card, yeah. Hammer shot automatically destroys whatever has the highest attack. Oh, but he's all out of monsters. Good, 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 good. Alright. Evil, revival, snipe. Alright, guys, and with that, we win, so. Just playing that in case this guy, you know, <laughs> somehow he plays Karibo or something. I mean, you never know. You never know. But anyway, go surfatize me, Cap. That was a close duel. Jinzo is a very scary card. Alright, guys, but we did it. <laughs> and what's funny is, like, we didn't even out his own Jinzo. No, he, he destroyed it himself with limit removal. Yeah, you got a little greedy there going for the damage, Nesbit. But I respect it. He got me down to 1,800. He's definitely dueled the best so far. What? I've never been more disgraced. How could this possibly happen to me? Would you like to save? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Data saved. Okay, so um, now that we got the option to save, is something big going to happen here? I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's see if we can find the last member of the big five and spoilers yeah you know it, it that that is like the main people you do are all the members of the big five um also <laughs> you know i could uh save state here and see if we find anyone else uh uh you know different around town here with different dialogue um well i'm not gonna check out the dialogue unless we like unless we just run into it in this one but uh, i will you know, in case I want to make another bonus episode, I will, uh, <laughs> I will save state here. Let's go on state number, uh, let's do this one. E yeah, zero. Okay. Yeah, in case I do want to check out the dialogue, I can, because I think we already checked out everything on zero last time, so... Um, is it just these two? Okay, well, let's do it. Uh, one of them's gotta be the guy we're supposed to fight, so let's go. Oh, shadow game. Alright. Let's do it, Pegasus. Let the shadow game begin, Platinum Boy. Alright, Pegasus, let's do this, man. Toon World versus Abyss Paradise. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're at on time. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how long this duel takes. If he plays like a lot of scapegoat and stuff, then uh, yeah, I'll probably just end it for this episode, and then we will uh, yeah try to find the last guy in the uh, next episode. Go emergency provisions! With this, I can send my tune table of contents to the graveyard, meaning I gain a thousand since I'm about to pay a thousand with two world. And I end my turn. Two face down cards. Alright, Pegasus, I'll start with this. A legendary ocean. Ah, I know what that card does, Floodin' Boy, so I'll stop it with Magic Gemma. My Millennium Eye saw that move coming a million miles away. Alright, Pegasus, fine. Go, giant red sea snake. I guess I'll set Ring of Destruction face down. Alright, battle phase time. Go destroy that monster. Oh no, my thousand eyes idol. <laughs> it's always fun dueling Pegasus. It doesn't matter what game it is. Uh, mainly because I get to do the voice, so. <laughs> Alright, I have my turn. I got a pretty good hand here, though. Fiend Sanctuary. Go to world. Welcome to a world of pain. A world of absolute madness and zaniness. A world of tunes, Flattin' Boy. Okay, well, we got this. I guess I can search for Pot of Greed. Let's go max view, baby. Uh, Pot of Greed, where art thou? Pot of Greed. There it is. It wasn't too far down. Alright. And now, Pegasus, I'll summon a signature monster. It will revival the slime. Alright, this monster keeps coming back over and over. As long as I pay a thousand my points, that is. Alright. Alright, and Giant Red 
and see some people. So far, you know, he hasn't set down, you know, any scapegoats or anything like that. So we might be able to get another duel in this episode. It all depends, really. I am my turn, Mr. Pegasus. Hmm, I draw. And I'll summon two Gemini Elf. And then I'll sacrifice these lovely ladies to summon Toon Dark Magician Girl. Hmm, not bad, Pegasus. Uh, wait, why didn't he attack? Um, uh, can't Toon Dark Magician Girl attack the turn of summoned? Uh, I know in the real game it can. It's one of the few tunes that can attack the turn of summoned. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So in this game, it actually has the effect. Um, cannot be special summoned if Toon World. If there are no tunes. Huh. Oh, no way. He can attack. Yeah. It doesn't have the usual tune restriction. Uh, wait, so why didn't he attack or that? That's weird. Huh. Okay, I guess he just he just treats it as if it's treated like all the other tunes. But yeah, it can attack uh, the turn it summon. Yeah, and that's what that's what makes uh, made uh, Toon Dark Magician Girl one of the best cards for the longest time because it doesn't have the usual uh, you know summoning sickness. But uh, yeah, weird. I don't know why he didn't attack there. Anyway, Ring of Destruction. Alright, so this one was pretty quick, so uh, yeah, we can look for the next guy, I think. We should have time. Alright, go, Swallowtail Spike Lizard. Attack him directly. Huh, weird. Yeah, I wonder why you didn't attack there. That's strange. I mean, hmm, I knew you had a trap card, Flatten Boy. That's why I didn't attack. You can't fool my Millennium Eye. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why, guys. He knew I had Ring, ring of Destruction anyway. <laughs> no, I don't know. That was weird. That was weird. All right. 139. Thanks for the points, Pegasus. Oh, no. This must be an accident. No, I'm afraid it's reality, Mr. Pegasus. Okay, so let's just try the first person we see here. Uh, oh, and it is. This is the final member of the Big Five. Uh... Let's, let's see if I can do his voice. Boy, boy, I say boy. Ha, you, looks like you've made it this far. <laughs> but will you be able to stop the blast from my satellite cannon? <laughs> I'm Lecter, also known as the Big Five. <laughs> I sold ca countless Capricorn weaponry to military factions worldwide. What makes you think you can stop me? <laughs> You're finished. All right. Yeah, for some reason, he had a really weird voice in the anime <laughs> that almost sounded like Colonel Sanders. View from above. Let's do it, Lecter. All right, yeah, and he did play Satellite Cannon, which uh, I guess I do have some ways to destroy it in this deck, but uh, I'll definitely need to draw them. I draw. Eh, not too bad. There's one way to destroy it, so... All right, let's start with it again. Go! A Legendary Ocean. With this field card out, my water monsters gain 200 attack and defense. Also, they lose one level while in the hand. Go, Swallowtail Spike Lizard. This card will gain a thousand points, life points for me, and I'll end my turn, Lecter. Go ahead. All right, and after this duel, we will end the episode. Oh, field card of your own. I, I say, I say, I play Luminous Spark. This gives all my light monsters 500 more points. Next, I'll reload my hand, allowing me to redraw four new cards. Well, that's a good combo. Copycat and Luminous Spark. Not bad, Lecter, not bad. So now he's got, what, yeah, 2400? Not bad. I guess I should have held on to my field card, but, uh, eh, nah. I, I had no way of knowing he was going to play that, but, uh, nice damage, yeah. Alright, I won face down, and I end my turn. But I'm not too worried, Lecter. I've got a special monster that can take care of your copycat card. Ready? I summon the Tribe Infecting Virus. And, with priority, I'll discard my Sinister Serpent to the graveyard. Meaning I can declare Spellcaster, and all Spellcasters will be destroyed. Yeah! Go, Tribe Infecting Virus. Attack his life points directly. Let's even up the score. 
All right. Yeah, and I really had no choice there. You kind of made me bring it up, made me bring it out early, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. We got rid of uh, that, which I, I, I say I play pot of greed. This lets me draw two cards. <laughs> all right, Lecter. All right. And now I'll summon one of them. A reflect bounder. All right. Now that card is kind of scary as well, because uh, you know once you attack into it, you take uh, damage equal to your monster's attack. But then it automatically destroys itself. So you know, we may just uh, go headlong into it. Okay, Sinister Serpent's back. Salvage. Uh, tell you what, let's. Uh, how shall we do this? Yeah, because it does automatically destroy itself, right? Yeah, it does. Um, so I guess let's just get rid of this card. Go, Sinister Serpent. <laughs> and yeah, this turn's gonna hurt, but he won't have this monster on the field anymore. Attack that Reflect Bounder. <laughs> yeah, and that is gonna hurt. Basically, it's gonna do 2200 in total, but he won't have this on the field anymore, so he'll be wide open. I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but uh, let's hope so. I need my turn. I kinda need to knock out his field card ASAP. What you got next, Lecter? I, I, I summon, uh-oh. Go, Injection Fairy Lily. Yeah, that card's effect is pretty dangerous here. He's got a lot of life points. Wow. He's gonna have us down to 300, holy crap. Well, if I draw like a battle floater, that would really help here, but I don't know. Uh, Revival Jam, maybe, maybe. Uh, depends if he's out of monsters. I don't have the life points to revive this, but I will set it though. Okay. Yeah, Lecter's got us on the ropes. I don't know. We might get a game over here. Uh-oh, yep. DD Warrior Lady. Ah, go. A united we stand. <laughs> this gives my monster 800 more points. Did he not attack? Oh my god, he did not attack. Um, thank you? Okay, well, I guess let's, uh, let's just wall up while we can, guys. Sinister Serpent, you're going down. Uh, how much points is this DD Warrior Lady at? Let's see, let's see. Dude, this thing's at 3,600 and you didn't attack with it? Oh my god. Wow, um, yeah, I don't know why you didn't attack, but, uh, hey, I'm just, <laughs> we're just, we're just gonna see if we can stall out until I draw, like, uh, Mirror Force or something. Uh, Grave Rubber, I don't have the life points to use that. Um... Well, for now, let's keep all these cards in my hand. Maybe I should set one Horse Raider, but I don't want him to take it down. It's such a good card. Um, all in my turn, all in my turn. I don't know why he's not attacking, but you know, thank goodness he's not. I go a Ring of Magnetism. Now, hey, <laughs> you can only attack the monster equipped with this card, and I put it on my, my DD Warrior Lady. Ooh! Ooh, that's kind of what I was waiting on. All right, Lecter, I've got a card for you. Lightning Vortex. So I'll discard this Grave Robber card, and then all of your monsters taste the bolt of lightning. Now, my life points are pretty low, so I'm not going to get too greedy here. I'll summon Force Raider. Yeah. And then we will uh, we'll just attack with Force Raider for now. I kind of regret not setting the other Horse Raider now, but, you know, uh, no matter what, I don't think we could have won this turn, so he's down to 3,500, and we took out some of his best cards, you know, DD Warrior Lady, uh, Injection Fairy Lily, that kind of hurts, bro, good card, go, Delinquent Duo, hey, <laughs> this is a card, two cards randomly from your hand, flood, oh no, not copycat, no! Okay, guys, we lost. We lost. We lost versus Lecter. Oh, man. Oh, he, he clutched it up there. Oh, man. And, guys, that's it. We lose. And if you lose in this game, unfortunately, you have to face this message. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. Well, this is a unique game over. Whoa. Okay, 
It looks like we failed, guys. Whoa! <laughs> I, I knew you couldn't do it, Flood. <laughs> well, is that so, Lecter? We'll see about that next time, guys, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. All right. So, wish me luck then. Bye-bye.